<laughs> bro, Destiny. <laughs> come get your mans, bro. Come, come get your mans, bro. Why is Destiny? I, I want. I would. I would love to see Destiny win this. First, first thing, game of the year. So I'll be completely honest. I have no idea how Mario made it into this, into the anything. So it's between Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, and The Legend of Zelda. Uh, Breath of the Wild, basically. Not Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, Alan Wake 2. I haven't seen em, uh, enough of it. I haven't played it. I did want to play. Or like, I do want to play it on stream. But I haven't played it. I have seen some stuff and, you know. But I still don't think Alan Wake or Tears of the Kingdom has anything on Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate did something incredible, like, bro, the fact that companies, like, developers were shitting on Baldur's Gate, saying that they raised the bar too high, it's so good, it made bad developers, just, like, mediocre developers go like, oh, uh, actually, this is a, an anomaly, and these guys shouldn't hold the bar that high, it's like, bro, just do something good, just do your job, okay? <laughs> Baldur's Gate, and not only that, I mean, the game itself, I, if you've been on the internet since the game came out, there's an, people just praise the game, there's nothing bad being said about, well, some bad stuff, but it's not perfect, of course, but it's, bro, there's no, this is not even a competition, Baldur's Gate 3, brav, next category. <clears throat> Best game direction. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom. I mean, Tears of the Kingdom, when it comes to, for example, visuals, is basically uh, Breath of the Wild, right? It's basically the same. Uh, which I don't think is bad, but can we say it's. We can. Because the amount of stuff you can do in the game, that, that I can consider innovation. Personally, I'm going to go with Tears of the Kingdom, honestly. I hate Nintendo. I think Nintendo is a horrible company. Uh, but I do believe Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is really good. Same for like Breath of the Wild. I think just they are really good at making Zelda games. It's really, it's really good. That's, I do believe this goes to Zelda. Then we've got best narrative. Ooh, I'm gonna give it Cyberpunk. Here's the thing. The writing team at CD Projekt Red, like bro, CDPR has such a good writing team, and, and don't get me wrong, Spider-Man, I think it's fine, Final Fantasy 16, I think it's good, Alan Wake 2, I think it's good, Baldur's Gate, I think it's good, I think all of these are, like, amazing, these three, uh, I think Spider-Man is good, and I think these are, like, amazing, but Cyberpunk, like, brother, the team for CD Projekt Red is so good, and I do believe, uh, and the hate that CDPR gets is completely completely like they deserve it they deserve the hate that a lot of people give them because they release the game in a horrible state however nowadays the game is honestly i'll say it is one of the best games out there in my opinion and i think best narrative goes to cyberpunk liberty's phantom liberty of course phantom liberty is only the dlc not the entire game it's only the dlc but even then it is so good Bro, they they <laughs> CDPR delivering with the with the DLCs again. Same with Witcher. I and Liberty, you get it from me. You should play Cyberpunk and the DLC. Best art direction for Austin Creative and or technical achievement in artistic design and animation. No. I've seen really good things about this. I also think this is really nice. However, art direction, mm, well yeah. They're also amazing. And I have seen only good stuff about high hub hi-fi rush personally i just this is just me okay this is just me this is like i just don't feel like hi-fi rush is deserving of best art direction and as much as i like lies of p because i think lies of p is an amazing game as much as i like it i don't think it's at the same level as tears of the kingdom or as what i've seen from alan wake 2 again I'm not too familiar with Alan Wake 2. Ah, oh, but I don't want to give it... <laughs> I don't want to give Tears of the Kingdom two votes. I don't want to give Nintendo two votes. Let's put it like this. Let's forget about who made the games. Okay? I'm between these three. And even between these three, I think Lies of Peace is nowhere near as good as these two. Creative and or technical achievement. 
we, I've gotta go Tears of the Kingdom. It just allows for so much. And it's so good. Everything is beautiful. The music, is, is, I think, when it comes to art, the artistic side of the game, I do think Tears of the Kingdom is amazing. So let's go Tears of the Kingdom again, as much as it pains me to vote two times for Nintendo. Best score in music, probably Final Fantasy. The music in Final Fantasy is always top tier, just amongst like most of them, at least the ones that I have played. <laughs> I'll give it to Final Fantasy 16. If Final Fantasy 16 doesn't win the best score in music, I, I'll 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 do a face reveal, okay? <laughs> I'll do a face reveal. Best audio design, it's gotta go to Alan Wake. I I, I feel like the the atmosphere that it wants to set is aided so heavily by the this by the audio design and that is something that i believe most games like it don't really get like game audio design is not just oh be clear be good be like impactful no sometimes you gotta give this atmosphere that you want to like present to the players i think alan wake 2 deserves this i think audio design is some of the hardest thing to like get perfect in a game and i'll give it to alan wake 2 uh, once I play through the entire game myself, I will be more to it. I did a salvo. Not even. <laughs> Not even, chat. Not even. Best performance, bro. Bro. I did a salvo. His performance in Phantom Liberty. Again, I haven't finished it, from, but from what I've seen, he's so good. And he, he already has talent. And when you put it in the game, I think it's just... He, he, he does an amazing job. If you haven't played... If you have the uh, the chance to play Cyberpunk, especially the DLC, I uh, play it. I think Cyberpunk again one of the best games to come out in recent years. Uh, next category, I resell what has it. Innovation and accessibility. So this is a educated guess from what I've seen. Well, educated, quote unquote. Uh, I'll give it to Street Fighter. Honestly, Street Fighter Six games for impact. I, I will be completely honest, I don't really care about this. I'm gonna go with this one because it looks cute, it looks ghibli, and let's just go for that. Um, sorry, my internet. Best ongoing. Now, I wanna say something here. Why is Cyberpunk here? Cyberpunk should not be here. And I just told you, I think it's one of the best games that have come out in recent years. I just think like Cyberpunk should not be here. It doesn't deserve to be in best ongoing. Cyberpunk, it, why are you here? Genshin Impact. It still has some horrible. Ah, Genshin Impact. I'm not gonna give it to Genshin Impact. Don't get me wrong. Genshin Impact with Fontaine, it showed how good, how truly amazing Hoyoverse, or the, like the team for Genshin Impact within Hoyoverse, how how good of a job they can do, they can do at writing like it's just they they did they did so good so good so it was so amazing the fontaine story furina neville frizzly navia oh my god i want to give it to kenshin impact however for outstanding development of ongoing content that evolves the player experience over time the player experience in Genshin Impact is still as bad as it, as it has always been. They, they don't, the Genshin team doesn't care about the players. And the players doesn't care, like they don't, the players don't care about the developers not caring, not caring about them. So as good as Fontaine was in Genshin Impact, development of ongoing content that was the player experience over time, it, ha it doesn't have this. Genshin Impact doesn't have this. I'm gonna say Final Fantasy 15. And Cyberpunk should not be there. <laughs> Cyberpunk should not be there. Fif did I say 15 or 14? <laughs> bro, Destiny. <laughs> come get your mans, bro. Come, come get your mans, bro. Why is Destiny? I I want. I want I would love to see Destiny win this. To have just the bungee, have to go up on stage and be like, uh yeah, so we fired a lot of people. And we ruined the game, and the, the the new expansion, yeah, that was like, it's not gonna come out in like another like how long, like month, like three months. Oh no, it's more than the whole. <laughs> it's way more than three months. Yeah, it's like, bro, I want, I would love to see Destiny win, but I won't vote for it. I will take this seriously, chat. <clears throat>
I also don't think Cyberpunk should be here. I don't think Cyberpunk is like as good as CDPR did with the update and the expansion. I do not believe that it should be in community support. It's am is it amazing? Yes, but I don't think it should be here. No Man's Sky, uh, maybe last year. I don't know how how many updates it's gotten this year, but I, I don't know. I think it's again. I think it's Baldur's Gate, bro. It's, it's Baldur's Gate. Yeah, <laughs> bro. They, they they care. They truly care about the player experience. They truly care about the community. They truly care about the people. Baldur's Gate, like the team, like Larian Studios, they really care about you, the player, and. It's just, I just think Baldur's Gate really deserves this. I think if Baldur's Gate doesn't get this, I just lose all hope in humanity. Best independent game, uh, but I will go Sea of Stars. I just, I just like it. I'll be honest. I just like it. This is just my own complete personal like preference. I just like Sea of Stars. That's my argument for this. I like it. That's it. I like it. Best debut indie game. I'm probably gonna say Pizza Tower. I think the other big one is Dredge. I'm gonna say Pizza Tower. <laughs> when it comes to best debut in the game, I think this had a really good debut. Uh, I guess it deserves it. It deserves it. If Dredge gets it, I also it's fine. I'm fine with that. Best mobile game, brother. <laughs> Why is Hello Kitty Island Adventure here? I'm I am so tempted to play Hello Kitty Island Adventure just to see how it is. <laughs> but like, let's just go Hocus Terrell. It's incredible. If Honkai Star Rail doesn't win Best Mobile Game of the Year, I am just... I, I make the face reveal. Again, chat. I make the face reveal. If Honkai Star Rail doesn't get this, it has to. It has to. There is no way it doesn't. Honkai Star Rail, you have this in the model. You have this in the bag. And you know what? If Honkai Star, unlike Genshin Impact, where they are like, Oh, we got uh, Best Mobile Game. You get... Then uh, 3,000 Mora and two books for leveling up your character. Let's go. Honkai Star Rail, if, if, if Honkai Star Rail gets like the award, they are for sure giving people like a, like 10 wishes, like then 10 summons. We are getting those those free those free mojems, chat. Best BRAR, Resignable Village. Brother, if you are telling me that I can have right here in virtual reality I can have Lady Dimitrescu cheeks right on my cheeks, my brothers in Christ, this is the award. That's all I need to know. I apologize for my internet. Best action game. Okay, I think there are two real contenders here. Ghost Runner and Armored Core. Now, Remnant 2, I haven't really watched, so I can't tell you anything about it. Hi-Fi Rush. I think it's good, but not at the same level. And that island, I mean, as much as I like that island, it doesn't deserve something like this. Does it have action in the game? Yes, but it's not best action. It's like, it's normal. It's good. It's good. It's entertaining, but it's not best. Ghost Runner 2 or Armored Core? I don't think Ghost Runner 2, as good as it is, has anything on Armored Core 6. My bro, Armored Core feels so good. It makes you feel so cool. It's so responsive. It's so cool. I think Armored Core deserves this. Please, please, Armored Core, get this. I, I wanted to win this. It's just so damn good. Best action adventure for the best action adventure game. Combat with traversal and puzzle solving. Tempted to not do it because it's a remake, but seeing the quality, it's probably one of the best game remakes out there. I believe Resident Evil uh, 4 <clears throat> deserves this. And I also want to play Resident Evil 4 on stream. Best RPG, brother. Okay. <laughs> bro. Star bro, why is Starfield here? Why is this game here? You know, pe people with Starfield are like, Oh yeah, bro, I got my out outlaw, a space outlaw build, like my ro my my character, and he's so cool, and it's like, yeah, your outlaw character has the exact same perks and exact same weapons as my Martian cook that I, that I, that I, that I made the other day. It's like, bro, Starfield is nothing. <laughs> even, even Skyrim. Is more of an RPG than Starfield, <laughs> and that is saying a lot, <laughs> bro. Starfield is just 
Uh, it's just so you can't get it up. Starfield, you, you really cannot get it up. Baldur's Gate is the clear winner. None of the others have anything on Baldur's Gate when it comes to RPG. When it comes to the RPG elements. Baldur's Gate is amazing. Uh, best fighting, the first ever fighting game that I played was like a street I don't even remember which street fighter it was for the PlayStation 2 but that doesn't really <laughs> that doesn't make it a short list uh, so I'm gonna go street fighter just out of nostalgia honestly best family <laughs> uh, party animals I'm gonna go party animals because it's just a fun game like it's like for family play it's like if I had a child I would play party animals with them for hours on end. It's just a fun, cute, little quirky game. <laughs> it's just fun. I think party animals. Party animals gets it. Best sim strategy. I'm gonna go Fire Emblem. I don't really care about the others. Maybe pick me, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go Fire Emblem. Best ports racing. Hot Wheels. I genuinely have like fun playing Hot Wheels on list. It's just raw fun. I just like it. I just think it's a fun game. Uh, best multiplayer. I think Baldur's Gate 3 multiplayer is like something that is very special. Like if you play it with someone that you really want to play it with, it's good. But it's not a multiplayer that I would say, oh, this is amazing. No, it's just it's there. And I'm happy that it's there for people who want to play it. And if you have friends who, want, who are interested, but I wouldn't say it's the best. You don't belong here. You don't belong here. It's a fighting game. Party animals. Best adaptation now here. I'm between The Last of Us and Castlevania. I'm gonna give it to it. I use Castlevania. Is... I love it. Most anticipated game. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. The mo bro, Final Fantasy VII Remake made me feel so good playing. It made me feel something that I haven't, hadn't felt in so long when I played it. You can go watch my YouTube uh, streams playing Final Fantasy VII Remake and you can see how much I love the game I genuinely just I was looking forward to playing like every day I was like oh I want to stream already because I want to play I want to play I want to play I want to play I feel as much as I love Hades and I think Hades is also one of the greatest greatest game that games that we've seen in like the past few like in recent years Final Fantasy 7 I know a lot of people don't like it but for me I think Final Fantasy 7 is just amazing the remake is amazing and I think Rebirth is going to be even better the moment it comes out I'm playing it okay next category Final Fantasy 7 oh my god I really want to play it uh content creator of the year mouse I gotta give it to Iron Mouse I think she's one of the best most respectable most like brave strong just she's an outstanding girl and her content is actually really fun i really like it i think she's a very entertaining very fun very chill very happy girl to watch and i think i don't know she deserves it honestly she's one of the people who i'd like to make to like do collabs with like make doing a collab with Aroma. and I, I know she likes she likes Ter Terraria I would love to play Terraria especially the mods like the Calamity mod with her because like she likes it and I have never played it so I would love to play something with her if I ever become like someone who has fame to the same level as she does if I ever do that'd be amazing I would be really happy now I would you say this games that I want to see win I want to see Armored Core win I want to see Cyberpunk win, please, brother, if Cyberpunk doesn't win best narrative, there is something wrong in the world. <laughs> um, I want to see Baldur's Gate win so badly Game of the Year. If Baldur's Gate 3 doesn't win Game of the Year, I'm showing my face on stream. I am doing it. And the only the only other one that I'm really, I feel really strongly about is Honkai Star Rail. I really want Honkai Star Roll to win mobile game. Uh, if it doesn't, I also lose hope. But, but there is no way, right? Like, there is no way Honkai Star Roll doesn't win. Like, it's it won already, basically. So Honkai Star Roll, Baldur's Gate, Armored Core, and please, 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 for the love of God, I want to see Cyberpunk win best narrative. That's probably the one that I feel the most strongly about. Just uh, Cyberpunk, Phantom Liberty, honestly. Anyways, 